Hello everyone. Myself Divya Basia of class 10 from the Aditya Birla Public School, Kovaya. In this video, we will be exploring more about the character sketch of the novel Swami and Friends. The novel is full of humor and irony. It falls in the pre-independence days in India. The town is said to be a fictional one, Malgudi. Before we dive into the character sketch of the novel Swami and Friends, let us first understand the theme of the novel. The protagonist of the story is a 10-year-old boy. He is an unconstrained, indiscreet, mischievous, but then also an exceptionally honest child. How he grows up, his mischief which made his family irritated, his innocence and other aspects are being portrayed in the novel. He lives in a universe of bossy grown-ups. So let's begin with the character of Swami. The protagonist of the novel, Swami Nathan or Swami, is a school-going boy. He belongs to a South Indian middle class family. His family comprises of his grandmother, mother, father and brother. Swami's mother Lakshmi is a homemaker and his father W.T. Srinivasan a lawyer. He is seen irritating his family members in the novel. Also, sometimes he himself gets irritated by the way his family scolds him. He takes his family granted and to some extent. He inherited a kind of revengeful quality in him after he got ignored by his mother. But it was not the same for his father, Srinivasan. Even though he was a, a little bit harsh to him, he was in a soft corner. Swami's grandmother was short, fat and a slightly bent woman. She was especially a religious woman. She had inner beauty intact with her rather than physical. Her and Swami's relationship changes throughout the novel. Swami has got money and Rajan as his fast friends. Swami was not like an extraordinary character like all of the other boys of his age. He likes to spend his time with his companions. Rajan is good at studies and speak English like a European and is the son of police head which gave him more attention and status at the school. He is witty and fearless in nature and naturally assumes authority in social settings. Another close friend of Swami, Mani, is described as mighty good for nothing. Mani is bold and strong figure in his class. He is not good at studies and purposely slicks off. He likes fighting and no one dares to challenge him, even the teachers. Mani likes to dominate the class and bully some of his classmates. Sumu is Swami's school friend from the Albert Mission School. He is a monitor of the Swami's class and carry himself with easy and confident air. Swami calls him the uncle of the class. Also nicknamed the P, Samuel is a Swami's close friend. Both were close friends until the Samuel changes his school. One of the most blessing thing that could be found in the novel is the similarity of the children throughout the world. The children have not changed since the writing of the novel. They are still playful, fun-loving and mischievous just like the Swami was. Thank you teacher for giving me this opportunity and thank you all for watching this video.